This is Intel's new E8600 CPU featuring the new EO stepping. As we reported a few weeks ago, it's gone down a storm with overclockers. Cooling with liquid nitrogen allows for higher voltages and much higher clock speeds compared to air or water cooling. The LN2 is stored on top of the CPU in a copper pot which is held to the motherboard in a similar way to a water block with thumb screws and springs and a hold down plate. This mounts on long screws fed through the mounting holes on the motherboard. It's important not to let the chip get too cold else it may stop working. In order to maintain temperatures at a certain point, you'll also need a thermometer able to register down to minus 200 degrees centigrade. After wrapping the pot in neoprene, the base needs to be covered in a generous layer of ceramic thermal paste. This gives good thermal contact between the cooling pot and the processor. Here we can see Benchtech's Sasha 35, also known as Paul Watkinson, mounting the pot on the motherboard, having coated the board in liquid electrical tape to insulate it. Condensation is your biggest enemy when using liquid nitrogen. Wrapping the neoprene in tissue provides additional protection against condensation. Here we can see Tommy Corbin warming the pot through after use to use in another setup. The pot is so cold it takes 10 minutes using an industrial heater to warm it through. As the day wore on and the temperatures got lower, we managed to overclock the E8600 from its default clock speed of 3.33 GHz to 6.15 GHz, achieving a massive 85% overclock.